No one ever cares about my car videos usually, but this time I want to show off a rather unusual repair I just did. This is the shift cable from the manual transmission in my uh, Nissan van, and uh, this is the cable that connects the gear lever and allows you to actually select the gear, so there's another one that does the tippy action. And uh, this cable uh, was uh, absolutely stuck. It uh, You were able to drive and shift the vehicle, but uh, it was with considerable effort. Uh, if you wanted to drive around town, you you would barely be able to feel your right arm after some time, because the, the sheer amount of force required to actually shift gears. And uh, I called the Nissan dealer and got a an estimate for what one of these uh, cables would cost and that estimate uh, for just the cable without any labour was 450 euros. So I figured this cable's uh, unusable as is, it's going to need uh, some form of remedy. Eh, might as well try and fix the actual cable since uh, any used cable I'm going to find and there's no aftermarket is probably going to have the same issue. So, what I ended up doing was drilling a small hole in the cable, which uh, I've uh, since sealed up here and I'm waiting for, for the glue to dry. And I made a plug out of blue tack and I injected from one of these uh, PTFE cans, just injected uh, Teflon into the cable. And it worked perfectly, because this cable, I can probably move it without uh, even pushing it off the camera. Yeah, there you go. The required force to move this cable was, uh, shall we say, not one-handed prior. And uh, that's basically it. This cable's definitely going to come go back in the car. It's probably about as good as it was when it was new, if not better, since it's full of Teflon now. And, uh, really, the, all I needed to do was just uh, make sure there was a tight seal around the hole, and just push enough Teflon in uh, until I came out of the ends. And this uh, little shroud here was a very good indicator, since uh, uh, it puffed up like a balloon once <laughs> the cable was full. And once that happened, uh, of course, it started going the other way until it came out of that end. And, uh, all in all, it took about an hour, and it saved me 450 euros. So, thank you for watching. Hope you found this useful. I mean, this trick is going to work on any cable, probably. Uh, handbrake cables, whatever. Hood release cables. And... Uh, the only major problem is that you actually need to get through the metal shroud in the cable without actually damaging the internal little cable, which is the moving parts. But uh, I didn't have a problem with this. I used uh, one of these uh, Dremel attachments, which has just a flat top, round with a flat top. And I started out with a grinding disc, cutting off the most of the metal shroud, and then I just went to with this through the plastic which encases the actual moving cable, and it worked out great, I didn't leave any imprint whatsoever and I got a fairly large hole I just kept wiggling it back like that in order to follow the contour of the cable and that's basically it thank you for watching, cheerio